any French jokes? Do I know any French jokes? <laughs> jokes. No, so the start of Toto. No, sorry, it's okay, sorry, <laughs> don't worry about it. My name is Antoine Bernardo. I'm born in Paris um, almost 39 years ago now. And um, I uh, born in a, actually a part of Paris, is, uh, the richest part of Paris. It's a little rich ghetto. It's called uh, Neuilly-sur-Seine, with uh, very little Muslim presence altogether. So I wasn't aware of any, uh, you know, other faith than uh, the one I kind of grew, uh, grew up in, which was the, the Christian faith. So I became Muslim in America in 2001. I became Muslim. Uh, mostly through uh, meeting a French Algerian uh, brother uh, outside uh, a nightclub. I was working as a DJ at the time, and uh, he, you know, God made it so that we, we met right there in front of this nightclub. He heard me speak French, and he was just coming into town. I basically uh, helped him move in, and we actually became roommates, and then started also working together. Um, and that's how I really, you know, get the first feel of uh, what uh, being Muslim was, basically, just through being with uh, with, uh, with a Muslim like this. And uh, along the theoretical part, basically, there was more of a uh, metaphysical part, I would say, where uh, my first encounter with the Quran uh, was very strong. I um, I was becoming sick at the time. I had, you know bunch of different symptoms that I couldn't really explain and uh, my uh, my yeah my concern was with, with my health actually and I opened up to this brother and he said well you know maybe the Quran can help uh, and he was he knew about the healing power of, of Quran and uh, so the first time I actually heard the Quran was in this big um, condo we were living in uh, where we actually were still doing parties in there at the time. Uh, and I was sitting you know, on a chair uh, with another brother that he had brought in, that I didn't know, a Moroccan brother, um, who starts talking to me in a language that I don't understand, which was Arabic, who was reciting Quran. And, uh, and I start reacting to it very strongly. I start shaking. I, you know, it was uh, very, very, uh, uh, I was very at ease at first. It was very, just unsettling for me. And so the first thing that I think crossed my mind was, you know, what, what's happening. The first thing that crossed my heart was, I think, uh, there is something in there for you. This is, you know, this is um, the direction. But there was just this call. You know, this call was uh, overwhelming uh, to the point when I became Muslim, I went to the mosque for the first time and to, took my shahada. I thought, you know, what's going to happen to me? You know, just reciting the Quran has this profound effect on me. What's going to happen to me when I do this in front of uh, you know, hundreds of people? And uh, the truth was, it was uh, overwhelming, but to, not the way I expected it. Uh, it was overwhelming, overwhelming because the people came to me and it was this huge family. You know, get, you know, bringing me in and cheering with me, and you know, giving me money and giving me all kinds of gifts and all this. So it was, uh, it was just really uh, entering a uh, family uh, in a way that I didn't know before. Basically, I was in the U.S. at the time, yeah, and I was away from my family. I had been away for quite a long time, so my concern was, you know, how are they going to react uh, when they hear that? Basically, I changed my way. Uh, you know, I didn't have uh, like a, I wasn't following a organized religion at the time and I think both my family and friends as well I was a bit worried about how they would uh, perceive me. The first thing that Islam brought back to me is uh, this sense of uh, no separation uh, between us, between you know all that's around us. This reconnection was so strong that you know physically I was again shaking and internally things were, were changing. I, uh, I, I did change physically, I did change uh, uh, in, in a, on a lot of different uh, levels. But this is very much, you know, like a very personal thing. You know, it's hard to express in words, even uh, the, the feelings that I have and the, um, the wellness, you know, the overwhelming wellness that uh, Islam has brought to me. Who you are uh, and, you know, who. Islam will uh, will make you become is you know is just a continuation, uh, and the people that that are you know loving you around you and are honest with themselves they can only they can only but see this they don't have to be worried about it basically and you don't.
that's the main thing. Don't worry, and um, Alhamdulillah, God, will, God is there and God will take care of this for you.